Hey guys, Najem Lee here, CEO of Crave Director, Image, Lifestyle Coaching Artist over at NajemLeeArt.com and NajemLee.com. So we are covering, again, uh, VH1 Mob Wives, The Last Stand, and this was episode six. And um, really, it was just stemming from last week, as I said, with Marissa getting to... Um, getting the first knock on Britney. Britney came in there, you know, dressed to kill, uh, kill Marissa. And Marissa just basically came dressed to kill in a, a really beautiful outfit. And I mean, Britney just turned into a wild animal, didn't she? She just turned into some 10 year old juvenile delinquent wild animal going around the securities kicking the securities they i'm glad they manhandled her just a little bit just like pushed her away because her head was not here and then what happens is in this episode so Drita, we as we see, is edging her on, and Drita's in for a rude awakening coming very soon. And we see that you know, yes, you she may be looking at Drita because the question was why is Brittany always looking towards Drita for like some type of you know assistance or cue or pump or something like that, and that's real. We everyone sees that that you are being led to the water by Drita just because Drita fights or whatever you and you see yourself in with Brittany this is what's going on all right so let me just get into my notes real quick so um so basically basically this was it I'm gonna give you a sum up so basically uh after that whole thing we see AJ and and Andrea they move in part-time with Renee and Big Ange hook up big um AJ's room beautifully. Um, next, uh, we see that um, Big Ange goes to the hot to the doctor. Bad news: uh, there's another lump in her uh, her throat, and um, now we have to get a specialist involved in doing a biopsy. And she's just totally over it. She's very scared, and I totally understand. You know, to have it done once and then having to go through this whole thing again is very nerve wracking, very scary. It's an emotional roller coaster, um, and then you're draining. You kind of like want to give up, but she has so many people relying on her, and so many people that she take care of that she's holding us all in which actually is making it worse um and so then we we also see um after the fight um Drita meets up with um Brittany and Brittany's mom tattletale well let's let's back up a little bit didn't Brittany's mom warn the heck out of Brittany as not to get involved don't go down there don't be there's no reason to move down there blase blase blah okay and that was in episode one remember so how is it now her mother is coming where's the loyalty with Karen why didn't Karen be in her corner first of all Karen was in her corner and was telling her be a lady and talk it out because really what y'all arguing over is a bunch of bullshit anyway so the bunch of stupidity it's like two year old crap Marissa so what she has your your name in her mouth and you have her name in her your mouth like what the fuck up you know, this is like so petty and so stupid that you dress like a little, you know, some some toy soldier from a damn cartoon to come and fight a woman. You're a child. And yes, 1000 percent. We saw who actually won this. Marissa. OK, be a woman. For crying out loud, Brittany, this shows how immature you are. And because you are lower than Drita in mindset and skills and all this other stuff when it comes to mob wives and being with a mob wife, because I don't see where any part of you is a mob wife, much less a mob girlfriend, much less anything. Um, but hey. Drita basically said you got to show you got to earn respect in order to, um, you know, to give it, get it, whatever. And my thing with that is. 
parent, if the mother actually will sit down and shut up and really understand what happened, you don't go to Drita about it. Go to who you have um, issues with, the loyalty with, which is Karen. If you have issues with Karen, go to Karen talk about it. Don't be talking to Drita. Drita really doesn't have your back. And Drita doesn't, you don't know Drita for 20 odd years the way Karen does. Let's like state facts here, okay? And for those who have not watched Mob Wives since the first, um, the first season, she needs to shut the F up because, you know, if you're not understanding where Drita and Karen are coming from in this whole relationship thing, then you got a lot of research to do and a lot of background check to go through before you just jump to Drita on this or even jump on caring on this too. You guys gotta know what the history is. Um, then after that, uh, Big Ange wants to blame Marissa because Marissa shot the, gave the first blow. What Big Ange didn't see was, it was actually um, Brittany who wanted this, this thing. And you go off on a person as soon as they get out the freaking car before they get out the car. I mean, what kind of madness is that? Like, give me a break. You know, if you're going to go attack, you might as well have a gun and then just shoot the girl if you're that vicious. Okay? Just shut up with the little kick thing I saw with your sandals. You kick the security with the, your his shin with your little toe. Oh, really? That was something? Please. Um, <laughs> guys, this is so stupid. The whole thing is the sit down that she has with Karen after that was really stupid okay you want to um question her loyalty and she did she she um carol was just like first of all you didn't have any loyalty for me when i asked you nicely because i am friends with both you guys right at least marissa marissa showed loyalty by saying i will definitely talk and she came just to talk not to fight that was evident well, I was saying with Big Ange blaming, Big Ange didn't see that um, uh, Brittany had come up in uh, Marissa's face and leaned over to strike. But who was quicker, Marissa? Marissa strike before she got hit by, um, hit by, boy, what's her face? And then we also saw that Marissa also got a kick in with them spike heels, which I was so happy about. Um, so the last part of this with Karen and her is a stupid squash beef. Neither one trusts is a dent in the friendship. I'm so upset that um, she brought this new blood into the group because they always say no new friends, man. You don't bring new people into something that's been long standing with a very, very serious foundation for so many years. You don't bring new friends into it. I don't bring no new friends into my crew, into my clique. I don't do that. Okay, you gotta step out. I don't care if you're friends with me for a little while, whatever. You ain't coming to my crew. You just not. You know, um, and in the last part, we see the breakdown of Big Ange over the news she got from the doctor and this whole process. And if you're up to speed, um, because this was taped in the summer, spring, summer, um, we know that Big Ange is in the hospital now and the procedure that they were trying was not working. And it's just a big mess, y'all. So really bring your prayers up for Big Ange. Um, I know she's very terrified, very scared, but she definitely needs uh, prayers up and motivation and positivity right now. Then these little scatty brats, especially Brittany, just get out of here. Get out of here. All right. Um, that's my wrap up for episode six. Mob wives, join me next week because we're going to see what really goes down between Drita and Karen. Some old hash shit coming back up. And um, I think I'm kind of getting drained on this because there's really not much. This whole thing was about a fluff, and I'm still not seeing the depth of this. You understand me? So I'm kind of disappointed with um, kind of with this whole thing, the way it's going. Um, you let me know. Tell me in the comment section below what you think um, of this episode and the episode to come next week, Wednesday, on VH1, 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Join me. I'm Najem Lee and Mob Live last stand uh, season six and um, I look forward to hearing your comments and feedback over on my social media which is 
at Najam Lee at YouTube, um, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, you name it. I'm there. Talk to me. I will talk back. All right. Love you guys. Thanks for joining me. Bye.